I had almost forgot to do this commentary until I was scrolling through my comment section and I saw someone leave a comment. It had it didn't mention this person's name in it, but I said, oh, I now know what I had to talk about because and it put the biggest smile on my face when it came back to me. So if y'all don't know who this is, this is Otto Warmbier right here. And this was back in 2016 when he was getting ready to have his trial before he got sentenced to what was it? 17 years of harsh labor in which he didn't even last the whole year before he ended up getting brought back to the states and he ended up in a coma which he later died uh, for the act that he committed over in North Korea now the last time I talked about Otto Warmbier was talking about his parents and how they said they wanted to sue the North Korean government for the role that they played in the death of their son and it was like for a very very high sum of money and i said they are not going to receive that money and to this day they still have not received it however as of april 26 2019 north korea is now having a bill i guess you can say sent to the u.s in the sum of two million dollars for basically keeping Otto Warmbier there for the short amount of time that he was there. So basically they are billing <laughs> they are billing the establishment for uh holding him there. Amazing how that happens. When I saw that, I cracked up so hard. And you know what's so crazy? It's a good chance that the US will pay it. Now if they gotta pay this, I will laugh even harder because that means they wasn't about to pay the parents of this guy nothing, but they are gonna expect the US to pay them something and if the US have to pay, hey, it is what it is. Let me go ahead and um read this article. It says the North Korean government presented the United States with a bill for two million dollars for the hospital care of Otto Warmbier, the American college student who was held a prisoner by Pyongyang. And I, I'm probably messed up the name and insisted that the U.S. signed a pledge to pay the bill before releasing him to their custody in 2017. Because remember, they put him on harsh labor. And he was in a hospital over there for a very long time. And that bill came up to $2 million, or at least it rounded up to it. A third source familiar with the matter, as well as President Donald Trump, said the U.S. didn't pay. The bill was handed to Joseph Yun, the former State Department Special Representative for North Korea, who traveled to Pyongyang in June 2017 to bring Warmbier home. Warmbier was in a commento state. At the time, was a time of his release from North Korean custody and died a few days later after returning to the United States. Yun, who had orders from Trump about being, bringing Warmbier home, signed the bill after informing the then Secretary of State Rex Tillerson about it. Tillerson then told Trump about the bill according to the source. The Trump administration has not paid this bill, adding that North Korea did not raise the issue as it sought to begin easing the tensions with the U.S. in 2018 nor when Secretary of State Mike Pompeo negotiated the release of three Americans that same year. We made clear that they were never going to get anything when the negotiating occurred for the release of the three Americans. Trump flatly stated on Twitter Friday that the U.S. paid no money to North Korea for a warm year. Earlier this month at an event attended by Otto Warmbier's family, Pompeo dismissed the idea of the U.S. paying ransom for hostages. Please remember that any money to a terrorist or terrorist regime gives money so that they can seize more of our people. We cannot accept that risk. You wouldn't ask that of us. While the North Koreans did not bring up the bill during Trump's summits with Kim Jong-un in Singapore and Vietnam, the source noted that the expectation for this payment could be brought up again. That's especially true because the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in North Korea is gaining influence at the negotiating table, and they're the ones who handed Yun that bill. Reached by CNN on Thursday, Yun said he could not confirm the report because of the sensitive nature of these discussions. The State Department declined to comment and referred to Sanders' response. The Washington Post was first to report that North Korea presented Yun with the invoice. Warmbier was detained by North Korean officials in 2016 after attempting to return from a U.S. tour of the country. He was returned to his family with severe brain damage and in a non-responsive state and died six days later. And then it goes on and on and on and on and on about some other stuff. So they basically want the U.S. to pay that hospital bill. Will they pay it? Who knows? If they pay it, who cares? 
That is their problem, not ours. But I think that is very ironically funny. It's like they are trying their best to keep this guy's name in the news after he's been dead for almost two years. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. And I'll talk to you in the next one.